So it should be, and here we go. That should about do it. We, uh, we're going to do a unusual dork table today. This is Flash. And I had a, a wild hair come upon me because of the selection. So I invited Mr. Rob Works, Mr. Grimner to come along and we could chitter chatter our sides up. <laughs> about what we think we know about what's going on. So, uh, like, today is the uh, 10th of November. Hey, it's tomorrow's Cirque's birthday. And uh, 20 and 20. And we got some chatters in the RLM. And thanks a lot, Grim, for this was no notice. Just, hey, can we do this out of nowhere? So I appreciate being able to do this with you. And uh, if you want to chat, we've got Barman and Beetle and Grimnir. Moose Girl, Kate, Anti, Esmo, Siculo, Dan Van Meter, Duh, Me, Flash Somebody, Frumpy, Work, Graham Z, Jays, Nines, Jays, Meister Brow, Prince, Rob Works, The Bubbler, Trust No One, Vanna White, Weather Dork, The Phantom, Beth Z, hey, mute that mic, Conflict. CC66 Cyborg okay. Noodle NCIV underscore Frumpy Double Dipper Matt WJ2002 Mr. Snick Ponsas QUR70 Weird Smart Ass and the Holiest Roger. So if uh, you feel like chatting and not paying attention to our pontification tonight or today, feel free. There's lots of people that have opinions and they're fun. So anyway, I uh, wanted to do a show today called, this is a, was it a premature calculation question mark show? And I think Rob premature. wanted to, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, premature, it's a great word. <laughs> so are we suffering from a premature calculation? <laughs> Uh, probably more like a premeditated calculation. And how do, okay, let me ask you this. Rob. On a personal level, how does it affect you regardless of who sits in the White House? Is it really the politics the guy represents or is it, it's all shit no matter what. You can't stand either side. Yeah, well, at this point it's beyond, uh, any hope of a <laughs> viable <laughs> solution, I guess, is what I'm searching for. I don't even have the fucking words. Um, <laughs> Sorry to laugh. Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, it's just at this point, you know, no matter what happens, one half of the country is going to rage and the other half is going to gloat. Just like last time. So, yeah, same shit. Uh, yeah, it looks so cool. what happens, one side's going to spend the next four years trying to tear the other side down and out. Mm. And uh, it's going to be a continual shit show. Um, I don't expect much to change. All right, but if it's not going to change, so you're saying it's already gotten as bad as it could get, or what? No, no, it could get a lot worse. I mean, because of because of the politics. Not yeah, there's an agenda. Okay, here you know there's an agenda, and we all know there's, there's an agenda. And I mean, we've talked about it for at least a decade, just in this uh, forum. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we've all talked about it: the new world order, the the population control, the the whole bit. And so we all know about that. And uh, I think it's pretty much beyond uh, dispute that there is a group of people bent on dominating the world. I mean, is, is, is there anybody left still arguing against that? I think concept? they're using implied consent at this point, Rob. <laughs> you know what implied consent is, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Because some people don't have a clue. Consent. Well, Plus, why, don't, why, don't you, why don't you explain it for people that don't have a clue? Well, why don't you? You haven't said anything, Mr. Grimm. 
<laughs> That's all right. I'm, you're the one that brought it up, so you. Uh... Well, implied consent, the way I have interpreted it, is when the system uses you as a yes because you didn't have the uh, wherewithal to tell them no. So if you don't say anything, period, you just stay silent, they just assume you said yeah, and they speak on your behalf. Okay. So you have to make a big hoopla of going up and going, hey, wait a minute, I didn't even, yeah, what the fuck kind of games are we playing here, people? And they call it law, and I call it a disgrace. It's fucking embarrassing. Telling you well, that. It's a, it's a con. Well, I went to the bar in town yesterday. Uh, Monday, yeah. Had a couple beers with my peers, and I took a razzin about Biden. Of course, before Biden, I would go in there and take a razzin about Trump. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, well, see. So, so at the bar, mm-hmm. um, were, were you uh, masked? Mm-mm. No. Masked? No, no. There's signs and, and they uh, there all this requirement, but you can't smoke and drink with a mask on your face. It's stupid. So they they call you know they tell you be, before the cops come. They you know they're coming. The yeah, yeah. But there's a fine. It's all about commerce. And the the bartender was telling me uh, Monday somebody that doesn't have a that doesn't like her so to speak called her in and turned her in for too many people in the bar when there weren't too many people in the bar. There's a limit, period, you know, uh, of, because the bar is so small. It's, you know, we're in Denmark. So both, both businesses are smaller. Yeah. The yeah. So, yeah. So, but, of course, they didn't have uh, you know, the maximum amount of people, but they do have laws that you can face your accuser here. Okay. okay. So, Anna Maria is going to have her... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Have you turn your mic up just a tad? Or get closer or something? <laughs> she's gonna yeah. have. She's gonna have her. Right, right there, okay. Yeah. Hang on, man. Hang she on. can have her attorney check into uh, who? She's got the man. Yeah. Who filed? Who filed the? Uh, the complaint against her bar, and she—it's a—it's a matter of law. They have a right, but you got to pay the lawyers to go through the paperwork. That's the thing. Yeah. So it just—it it, beat the rat, but you'll never beat the ride. Right. It dissuades people from pursuing it, but not this yep. time. This is, this has gone too far. You know. And then I've been talking to her about this crap through the whole thing, and she every time I see her. She shakes her head and rolls her eyes, but she says, you know, the more I think about it, the more I agree with you. But the the reality of the fucking situation doesn't allow that. Okay. uh, Well, people call the police before, you know, that's what they do. So whether or not there's a law broken, you've already... In, been intrusive of enough to send in the cops, so that tells you what you're doing. Right. Yeah, you're dealing with well, a that's, real- all these, that's all these laws do that they write endlessly. Is just, I mean, they give uh, the ability for people to just fuck with each other. <laughs> it's uh, well, it's, uh, that's a. Uh, I could go on about that. Do that. Uh, just the way the laws are set up. They, they've they got what's called malum prohibitum laws, which are all these laws like the laws against drugs and uh, traffic laws, law, uh, victimless crimes, so to speak, which is an oxymoron. Uh, if there is no victim, there is no crime. So... Uh, because of that, it it gives rise to these Karens that like to call the cops on people for because they looked at them funny or whatever fucking reason they want. <laughs> because people 
the ability to use the state to fuck with other people. And it happens a lot. Okay, and that leads into the present day selection process taking place. Uh, yeah. I mean, it would, to me, it, it would, right, well, because I'm interested. I'm sorry? Uh, I don't know. They're, they're saying I sound weird or something there. They said I sounded like your harmonica. Let me see. If I can. <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong. He's trying to implicate me in, in a crime. Not me. That's them. I don't have a harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very low. Yeah. Anyway, are you? Yeah, saying? you're not. You're not crispy clear like usual, Grim. Uh oh. I don't know why. So it's crispy cream donut. I mean, I that, don't get anymore. Let me look at my settings. I don't think I'm okay. Hmm. Uh, All right, keep talking. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're, I thought you guys would have a, um, some input on this on this selection strap that we're going through here. Because I got punked about Biden yesterday in a fucking bar in Denmark here. What the fuck? <laughs> well, well, first of all, the election's not over. Oh, I know uh, that. It hasn't. It hasn't happened, uh, despite uh, contrary to uh, uh, the uh, MSN, the clap, clap, the CLAP, the lame stream brain screen. Uh, uh. No, my my levels are all good here, man. I don't know. Yeah, you sound good. Maybe you're just not talking as loud as usual. I don't know. Check, check. Idiot. Hmm. So, so that's point one: is the election's not over, and and they're already talking about setting up all these things and transition teams, and every not one single state has certified a winner yet. Um, and not only that, it's gonna go to the court, to the Supreme Court. I mean, it, that's a given. I mean, it's it's gonna happen. Cry all you want, it's gonna fucking happen. Yeah. And here's the thing about the Supreme Court. Yeah. The three of them were Trump appointees, and one of them, Clarence Thomas, just so happens to despise Joe Biden. Because if you remember back when the Lenita Hill stuff happened. Yeah. Guess where Joe Biden was involved with? No, I passed. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> he was he involved was, with. That's all you know. He was involved, and in, and Clarence Thomas don't really like Joe Biden at all. So you got Clarence Thomas and three Trump appointees on the Supreme Court is going to rule on who wins this election. What the fuck do you think is going to happen? Well, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I don't have any fucking idea what's going to happen. I'm going to be president for four more years. That's what the fuck's going to happen. Oh, okay. Now, hold that thought, okay? Now, is there mm -hmm. anything left for Mr. Trump to destroy should he be reselected? Oh, there's all kinds of shit he could do. I posted a video all about it. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell you what will happen if, if uh, Trump is reselected. All these people that were going nuts prior to the election that have since kind of calmed down. Oh, that's going to go. That's going to be wild stuff after that. That's good. Yeah, it's going to come back with a vengeance. Oh, but that's better. That's, 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 I would really rather deal with that than the 70 million pissed off motherfuckers that they just stole the election from. Well, yeah. Because <laughs> all those Antifa and DLM guys. Uh, a large portion of them are being paid to be there. Sure. None of Trump's people are being paid to be there. Okay, some of them maybe. But the large majority of those rallies you saw, 20, 30, 57,000 people at one, those are real people that are really going to be pissed off. So, I mean, nobody's going to be paying them to go out and raise hell. They're just going to be doing it because... They're fucking pissed. And you're not going to be able to, uh, you know, cut off the paycheck and make them go home. Okay. And all of that, while you have a world global pandemic killing old people. I mean, can we pile any more shit on the, the shit tray? Old people from, from since time began. 
Well, I, I know that. This is a radio show. We're supposed to be controversial, <laughs> you butt nugget. Oh, God. oh sorry. Help. Grimner, help me. He's not working with me here. <laughs> help, help. Anyway. Oy. It's when you have governors that send flu-ridden people into nursing homes where you get a problem. Okay, so the first thing that you cleared up for me, which I wasn't sure of, I thought there needed to be a full count before you could declare, and I thought that each state had to uh, ratify. I used the wrong word. It was certified. Or certify. They got to certify yeah, the certify state order. votes. Yeah, they certify all the votes, the ballots. Okay. They certify that they've checked them all and they've all been properly vetted and been allowed to observe by both sides. Actually, technically, it should be by all sides because there's <laughs> way more than two parties in a fucking election. Like it just gets completely swept under the rug how many dozen freaking candidates there were for president. Oh, oh at all. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to mention your green, your libertarian, your fucking aliens, your straight up communists. Yeah. I mean, communist party. There is a communist party here, and they they did. They always have a candidate, and then you got all your independents that were running. I mean, you didn't hear a peep about them. If that don't tell you how freaking corrupt the media is alone, I mean, come on, it's not rocket science. It's come on, man. I don't know who are you talking I to. I know. He must be talking to you, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Kids. <laughs> hey, just pretend he's hands for five minutes. Have fun. Well, yeah. I, I yes. got to say, hey, I haven't seen Hansel around since the selection thing started. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a... Uh, he popped in one day, killed a, killed a duck and a fish. And then left, and yeah. I, Immediately I was, left, yeah. That was funny. It, well, uh, it's kind of all right, and to me, it's kind of disheartening because I thought the guy had balls. You know, he's all kicking doors in about Trump all this time. Yeah. yeah. So, and if it's not even over yet, well, well, come on, he should be the first one in the RLM telling us, "Hey, it's not over yet, guys. You're gloating too soon." Yeah. So, because all right, his absence and this bit of knowledge I got kind of made me think, "Hey, I guess Biden did get it." But it hasn't filled all the freaking uh, rules that <laughs> I've known all my life to get the job. But yet the press yeah, over here. Remember where Hans gets his news from. Yeah, well, the press on the, in the and English world Fox rolled is, over. is already calling Biden the president. Yeah, Fox Trump, rolled over. I don't, I don't know. It's uh, some kind of sh um, similar to that in Australia. I get links on, on the uh, YouTube from Australia and something from Canada. But yeah. yeah, I don't I don't want to look for American shit. <laughs> it's <laughs> just no, I already lived there long enough to know that that's never true. <laughs> Duh. Hansel's licking his pussy in horror. <laughs> well that lucky cat anyway. Poor hands. <laughs> I don't know. Well, then again, see, uh, if there's a way for Trump to come out of this and be a winner, where's fucking Hansel? Yeah. yeah. You know, because he's the only Trump support I've seen on, on the RLM since I've been on it. Yeah. Yeah. People might have yeah. liked an idea yeah. that he had or something, but they weren't Trump supporting kinds. They were, hey, Trump had a good idea. Woo, good guy. Yeah, and that's as far as it. But hands. But yeah, Oz, Oz is a full-on Trumpy, Trump, that, Trumpster. All right, so his absence makes me worry. Hmm. I must be. Yeah, I wouldn't read too much into it. He I'm, might be busy. I'm a dork. I'm getting emotional about the president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, I'll be honest with you. I don't give a flying fuck which idiot they put in that seat. Okay, what I care about is the results of the idiot that they put in the seat. Because they're representing different banks that want different shit. Yeah. Well, the shit that Biden's banks represent and want are way worse than the shit that Trump was looking for. But I don't yeah. still can't find a good thing to say about Trump, but lesser of two evils. Ouch. 
So you yeah. think he'll be back and we're just all sweating it for nothing, right? The Trump will be back. Not Jared, not Hansel. But, uh, <laughs> well, it just struck me because, you know, the, the guy's been bragging about Trump. Bring more shenanigans or some crazy wild shit. I mean, that's the only thing I can see happening. If, if any semblance of the rule of law is upheld and it goes to the court, Trump's going to win. Okay. Either, either by, either by the fact that the, the votes were, the vote was, was tampered with or just because he freaking owns the Supreme Court. So are you saying on the door table that you're, you think that the court will do the right thing? Out of the two horrible choices that they're going to... Whether it's for the right or wrong reasons, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And Okay, I'm I'm arguing that point, and I think that if it comes to court, that Trump is going to win the popular vote, and the, the government, the shit behind all this crap, is going to give it to Biden. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, they, it's possible they could get to the... To the justices. Look, the whole world is run illegally, claiming to be run legally. It's a big fan. I mean, these, these these people are in control of trillions of exactly of and, dollars and funds. They they bought everybody and everything that can be bought. Da da. So there you and go. so yeah, I, do I put it past them? Fuck no. They're gonna do everything they can because this is. I, I do believe that this is a turning point in yeah, history. Yeah, sure seems it. And whatever happens here is going to set the direction of humanity. Damn, for the it's next way hundred years. It's 1970 all over again, bro. Yeah. Well, I was a little young the first time around, so although I yeah. existed in the time period and I did have a lot of older cousins. I didn't have the intellect at 10 to really grip what was going on around me. Right, right. You know, and now that I'm a grown man and look back on it, wow, the shit yeah. we survived. You know, yeah. And here we are, I'm a grown man, and it's all happening all over again in a different fashion, but it's the same recipe. Yeah. And all of the people that are playing in it, Biden, Pelosi, uh, the Trumps, the Trump family's been in all this shit up to their eyeballs since the chicken, what, 48 that I can count. <laughs> you know, because their money goes back somewhere. But uh, their public eye think started about the Tesla days, Trumps. And then they vanish, you know, and then he comes out of nowhere as this obscure businessman and he was a front man for bankers that wanted to, uh, uh, they wanted to shift the burden of payment at the time because they were losing the city. The city was bankrupt. Yeah. Well, well, that video somebody posted earlier of a, of a thing from 1959 or something about, uh, well, that was, or was that you that posted that? Uh, Talking about uh, gonna, the things we're going to be facing in the future and talks about uh, the, I think Graham's button might have posted that. Yeah, that sounds more uh, like Mary than me uh, already. Saying that uh, we're going to deal with a plague, a global plague that's going to spread from somewhere in Asia. This is in 1959. <laughs> yeah, I think Beth posted that. Beth, yeah, she posted that one. Uh, she took off, I guess. No, there she is. Um, yeah, Beth posted that. Um, uh, it's very interesting, but uh, Toggin just basically predicted exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, well, you think? And, and that's what I mean is I'm actually living through the rerun because older people were explaining what was going on to me as I was a teenager. That When I was a teenager, I didn't really get it. I, I remember the words, but I didn't understand what they meant at the time. This is too young. But now I look back and go, wow, these fucking people, they called the whole thing perfectly. Like, no way. Like, I learned that. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah. Huh? My, my, my thought is uh, the, only, the only difference it makes, whether they uh, choose, select, uh, place uh, either Biden or Trump, 
is that let's just just lets us know the direction they're going to be going in, and the you know from here out for the next while. So if they if they uh, pick Biden, then they're that's full on uh, tyranny, digital tracking of everybody, and uh, all all such things like that. If they go with Trump, uh, then then they're not quite ready yet. But I mean they're they're heading that direction. Whether it happens now or four years from now, uh, there's only a, a time gap there that makes the difference. But uh, those those are the guys running the show, the, those globalist bastards that, uh, that that create and make all the money, um, or the debt, or the credit, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know <laughs> So so that, the that's just our, if, yeah. if if they're ready to do it now, and it seems like they could be. Uh, because of all this corona nonsense and they've got everybody, they've seen how easy it is to lock up the entire world um, and and to get people to snitch on each other and to track and trace everybody, get everybody to hide in their homes or basements or whatever. Uh, they, they could be ready now, uh, in which case I would think they would select Biden. Uh, or if they're not quite ready yet, then they'll they'll stick with Trump. Yeah, that makes I good sense. We're all going to hinge on the people's response. The people. Wait, wait a minute. Really? Are you out of your fucking mind? What What the fuck does the people's voice have to do with any of the shit that goes on? It's always it's groups of... It's, it's the never, people, like it or not, ultimately have all the power. Um, it's misused. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Come yeah. down, yeah, but it happens. It wouldn't be the first time. I, know, I was disappointed with enough of that shit out of Seattle and Minnesota, Minneapolis, and well, that, New that's York. That's all communication uh, bullshit. Okay, see, you, that, wait, was, that was bought and paid for by George Soros. Yeah, it doesn't paid. doesn't really matter how it happened. It matters that that's it happened. Because right. you know, I'm in Denmark, so they're gonna re- they're gonna report it through the MSM however they want to. But I'm okay, not, just look at the difference. I'm not dumb. I know who paid What's for it. What's going on in France and mm-hmm. Spain mm-hmm. and ever Greece and everywhere else that's having real uprisings of people uh, that are that are that are natural uh, grassroots. Okay, that makes type. sense. You said real, so I, it changed everything for me. Thanks, Rob. I got it. Yeah, <laughs> but know, still. Look, look, look. Look what's going on in Peru today and yesterday. Uh, what? You know, they, I have they, no idea. Their, their Congress ousted their president, and now people are rioting down there. But it's a formula. Yeah. There's a guy on the KGB that explained how you do that in 15 years to a population. And that was one of the steps to the four-step formula. Is you have a, a, a military uprising and the population, blah, 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 blah. everybody's been preparing for it differently. Differently than that, but that's the like the final step. And what they get out of it is the end result is the new normal for social compliance. Okay. Well, you said there was an up, uprising in Peru, and I just yeah. saw this link. This girl, uh, that girl I like, what's her name called? Uh, what's her face? And she does what's these damn face? little. I like her. Yeah, she does these little videos, and I saw one today, and oddly enough, within the, the the link, she's referring to this KGB guy that was speaking, and she plays the video in, within her video, and it was about this, what you just brought up, how, the, how they do this by design, but then they tell yeah. you in a foreign country, it's an uprising of the people, and blah, blah, fucking blah to your eyeballs. And it's all bullshit in the end. It's just banking. It's nothing more than Jew banking with a twist. <laughs> yeah, I think we got these uh, guys, these uh, ultra mega wealthy controllers of the world that I think they, they probably have like a risk board. You know, they're all sit, sitting up there playing risk. And so it doesn't really matter to them what these people think or those what these people are doing. Uh, it, it's you know you ever played that game Risk? Oh hell yeah! Take over okay, the so world. That's, yeah, that's what they're doing. Except except yeah. they're doing it with the world rather than on a game board. 
Well, oddly enough, you bring that up. And when I played Risk, if you can control us, uh, Australia right in the beginning of the game, you have a great advantage. And Australia's fallen. It's the most restricted country on the planet right now. Yeah, yeah. As far as yeah. country to country goes, yeah. They've yeah, got... New, New Zealand's pretty much right there with them, so... Uh, Are you really... How far Western culture countries go? Okay, over here right now, we've just got uh, required mandated masks on public transit and in uh, bars and stores, restaurants, bars, and stores, I think. So I think they got everything now. I have to, I, I got to wear a, a, what do you call that? A thing around my neck. Fuck, what do you call that shit? Collar? No, no, no. It's a, a warm thing. You put neck around your neck. No, like a, it's like a fucking. Scarf? A scarf. There scarf? you go. One of those. And a wow. circ, circ knitted me one. So when I went down to the, uh, get my smokes down at the train with the new have to wear a mask thing. I just wrap my mask around my mouth, put my glasses in my pocket. And, no, that's it. It's good enough. You know? So we all know we're just trying to stay out of getting fined. Nobody's saving anybody. And the knitted scarves are well known for preventing disease. Exactly. Oh, please. <laughs> that's my whole fucking point. You know, I could use my freaking <laughs> hand if I wanted to. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think I could get away yeah, with that. <laughs> as long as you got your muzzle on, you're good, man. <laughs> it sure Six seems. stockings, whatever. Sure seems that way. What? Yeah, you know, as long as your face is covered. You don't want to see your face. Well, <laughs> okay. I was rattled when I went to the get cigarettes today because I'm going, it's right by the train. People are standing, you know, standing waiting for the train to pass right by them, three feet away from them. And as I'm walking up, there's a little group of teenage girls, three of them there. And they're all wearing these fucking masks. And I look at everybody and I see their eyes, but I can't figure out. I can't, I'm just seeing eyes. There's no face. It's just weird. It was fucking weird. Now just wait till the mandatory sunglasses come in. <laughs> <laughs> are, are we living in Tommy? Is this just a remake of Tommy? Or what? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Except we don't get to play pinball. Okay. Now you, you, get, you guys want, want, want to hear how I see this Trump versus Biden crap? It's similar to, to Grimner. But I think Trump and Biden are pretty good buddies. Probably. And Oh, yeah. And they're both performers. So they're both playing a part in a performance. Yeah, you know, Trump, Trump was buddies with the Clintons and the Obamas, too. So Okay. Now, I, I like Dick Jackson to a point because sometimes he goes too far with certain things. And it's a matter of uh, it's a subjective kind of idea. You can't believe everything somebody says about every fucking topic. You you would be them. So I'm you know I'm gonna bound to run into a, I've run into a couple of things and one of them was today when he said uh, the day after the inauguration Trump's wife is dumping him. Okay. Well, where the fuck do you get ideas like that? Yeah, people make shit up. They've been trying to say that shit the whole time. Okay, and it's just not like Deke to go off the deep end about some absolute bullshit. His bullshit is more scientific bullshit. He's sold on a concept that I'm not sold on. But I thought yeah, more I don't know. Okay, well, I thought more of the guy than had just been taking a piss on the Trump's wife thing. I, I don't know. I think it's not right to attack a man through his wife is what I mean. Yeah. And that's the way what I heard yeah. today. If it's not true, why the fuck would he say it in the first place? Because he doesn't have a lot of people following him anymore. But still, yeah. that you put that like Mary will say, if you put that out there into the world, it it gets it gets heard. You know, people vibrate and they they feel it. Yeah. Are you vibrating there, Rob? No. I'm vibrating. You vibrating, Greg? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I used to listen to Deke a lot, but I don't. I, I can't. I, all of his global warming. He buys all that global warming yeah, content. Yeah, to a, yeah to a degree I, that I, I don't. I, yeah, I can't. I can't deal with that. Much. But he's funny as fuck about the newspapers. Yeah. His point yeah. of view about the you know the sitting reality that we can touch and see is way different than global warming crap, right? There's even a touch and see to the corona. It's just people have watched too many fucking movies and TV shows to understand that what they're telling you is not possible. And the cases were... That that applies to the election process here, too. I mean, they they believe in the corona just like they think the elections are real. (laughs) Oh, no way. It's that, yeah, I guess it would have to be that serious. Well, yeah, it's, it's all, you know, it's all coming from the same source. Mm-hmm. And, uh, that's, and that, that's where <laughs> they get their information. Um, yeah. So. Output. Yeah, and, and, they, and they buy it, and they, they parrot it out, and then other people say, oh, we saw this over here on this reputable, which they call reputable news sources, and then this guy over here, he believed it, and he repeated it, and he told me about it, and so now I believe it. And it's just like, you guys, are, you're like lemmings going over the cliff. Wow. Yep, all yeah. of the herd. Well, do either of you see any possible uh, positive outcome if Biden is selected in the end? No. Uh, I, I, no, I, I mean... I don't. I don't get a positive outcome out of either of them. But um, nothing positive comes from government. <laughs> well, their their whole their whole program seems to me to be based on uh, misdirection and lies. Blame you know, blame somebody else. And, you know, you did it yourself, but blame them. And it takes five years to go to court. And in that five years, everybody's going to forget it ever happened anyway. So by the time it goes to court. Oh, hell, three of the witnesses will be dead. (laughs) It's a fucking game. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a game with deadly consequences. Okay. Well, I've got a solution to this, but nobody likes it. Go ahead. Disestablish the Fed. Just crumble it. Take it down. I love that idea. All of it. Everything connected to it, you're in your state, you're your state's problem. Been saying that for decades. Oh, well, decades, schmeckades. Whoever said it doesn't matter who said it first. It just matters that it gets fucking said and people start thinking for their self. There's not a lot of us, Rob. There's a handful here. Right, but, but, but orange man bad. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know. I've never met anybody in person that ever said that. It's all internet shit from <laughs> chat rooms. <laughs> and the only Trump supporter I ever met is a Danish guy that tells stories that are questionable. So, <laughs> hmm. It, oh, wow. It was like this, well, this he's not real fluent in English. But he speaks good enough to get through, and he was claiming to have gone to New York. And somebody Mm -hmm. else was claiming that, I don't think he did that. I think you're being uh, told a story. (laughs) 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 And me being me, I already thought, well, that sounds a little strange. You know, Mm -hmm. yeah. I lived in Manhattan, and I don't remember getting treated like that by anybody. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? I mean, if I wasn't, you know, sleeping with her, <laughs> there w- there wasn't any any uh, contact on the, you know, passing in the street and shit. You didn't say hello to people with crap like that. You're on your way from here to there in New York, and if you bump into somebody else, they might slap you for doing it. So, you know. Yeah. The 80s were a trip, man. Fuck. I was in a taxi cab flying flying down fucking 2nd Avenue going to uh, somewhere near Alphabet City, I guess. Anyway, and if I would have, and my, the girl I'm with said, don't say nothing to this driver. He'll stop and fucking put us out. <laughs> and he's driving like a fucking idiot. <laughs> but 
we got where we're going. Yeah. So, but <laughs> things have changed since the eighties. Oh yeah. Except for me, I'm I'm still living in them, but. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I, I don't belong in this world. <laughs> well, so, okay. So the, the good thing could come if Trump is reselected and if Biden's selected, then the shit's pretty much over. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I think Graham's probably got it right. If Biden gets, gets it, it's it's on. If Trump gets it, they're it's, just a, yeah waiting. They're it's, buying their time. It's, yeah. it's a slow roll. Well, we just get a few more years, a few more free rolls on the uh, life expectancy board. Yeah. Shit, I never thought I'd get this fucking old. And Cirque's got plans. She seems to be doing pretty good with her ideas. So. Hmm. Yeah. 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 She, she's got a birthday tomorrow too. Ha <laughs> ha. I mentioned it yeah. earlier. Yeah, eleven. Uh, eleven. It's so early. And my little brother, the little prick, has got the same birthday as her. Oh really? Hmm. How old is going to be? Like forty-three. Yeah. But don't tell her that. She's still young. I, no, She's no, still no. twenty-nine. I don't know, but it's hard to. <laughs> it's hard to define, but uh, I think the age thing is probably. The, the least important part of the whole trip. Yeah. Well, I got used to it right away, and I don't, I don't never feel anybody uh, in the family doesn't ever treat me any different than they have since I met them. So yeah, yeah, they, yeah we got some. What they're coming over for the birthday? I think Saturday. We're gonna do a little. Yeah, well, it's it's a weekday today, so we're gonna have a little thing afterwards. Saturday. Uh, Moose Girl Moose Girl says here in the chat that Biden wants more lockdown. Yeah, uh, yeah that's Biden what I heard. Says Biden wants what he's told them. to want. Yeah, exactly. The see the politics that the each guy represents, the bankers behind that. It's it's got nothing to do with Biden or Trump. They're just the front men for the bankers. Right. And trying to tell that to a, a person that's an average worker or something like that. Impossible. They wouldn't understand it. It's too complicated. You go, what? Nobody's even thought about it that much. Yeah. You got most say they yeah. say what they're told to say. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But I was taught that. Yeah. I was, my folks, my folks, my cousins, you name it, all the adults in my life always tell me, hey, don't get sucked up into this bullshit. It's not what you think it is. And I didn't listen until I was about 28. I thought I knew better, you know. Oh, I could do this. And I could do it, but I couldn't continue to do it. I hit a point where I went, no. Yeah, another yeah. revolution on the merry-go-round, Moose. Yeah, round and round we go. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Not only that, but see, knowing it is half of it. Because what do you do with the information? You know? Doesn't change other men. You know, scream like a crazy person and, and see if anybody listens to you. Well, me and Cirque's uh, outlook on some of the stuff is different. Where she doesn't see what I see. Or I don't agree with what she sees. But that doesn't, you know, it's not part of the marriage. It's just opinions about a, a it, we call it a fiction. You know, it's only real when you apply it to your life. And the only times I, we seem to apply that a lot or the the system to the life is regarding the, the house we live in or shit like that, the big stuff. But mm -hmm. personally, nah, we don't have a I don't I think we get along good because we don't have a personal stake in any of the uh status that status position shit that people really get into. Well, if she wanted to be more ambitious and spend more time away from home, she could, you know, go to work more and make more money. But that's not the road she wants to be on. She was saying today she'd rather be home. I could go out. You know, she says, oh, I get a little bored every now and again. But then I go, oh, 
and then I got to go out and be with them. (laughs) (laughs) Grim is starting. She's starting to sound like you. (laughs) (laughs) That's where she came from before she um, went went mainstream. She, She was far more like me back when she was a rebel. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying that uh, her staying away from people is new. That's good. Though. She's a social butterfly, and now she's not anymore. She's, you know, she looks forward to, to doing it, and then when she's doing it, she says, oh, I want to come home. Well, you know, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, it's not like it used to be. How crazy. Real Liberty Media is a well known radicalization point. Yeah. How do you mean we radical? Uh, the common indoctrination center from hell, man. <laughs> well, yeah, because me and Cirque are very uh, unique in our outlook on society. We found a couple of young folks that they're more similar to us, but you know, outside of that, no. Most yeah, of the Moose says, Moose says it's it's not good, you know, for people that are not hermits like I am. Um, it, it, it is and it's not, but you know, I, I understand. You know, where where, where social folk like uh, Boost Girls come from on this because they 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 really enjoy being in crowds and being around people. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And that drives me absolutely nuts. Yeah. yeah. I, I, oh. I, I, I want to. Yeah, run they're big on the crowds. Um, but uh, I, I consider, you know, most people are just annoying fucks. Mm. Uh, <laughs> So, so uh, to me, to me, I, I can't, you know. Uh, I, I had I, there was a time in my life when I was, I had a group of friends that I hung around with. Right, but you and, get older and things change. People yeah, grow up in different yeah. directions. Yeah. Yeah. I've never had a problem with that because I always enjoyed my freedom. Now that I'm married, I, there ain't no freedom anymore. It's not about that. Oh, it's about, come on now. No, it's not about freedom and shit. If it was, I'd be down in Freetown, you know, doing crazy crap. But no, it's about keeping the marriage together. Maybe you'd be down there doing the uh, Hunter Biden stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Probably, yeah. Start, yeah. Start to choke off of asses. You bet your fucking zippy dippy. <laughs> I'd be down there with my good buddy Mucho Dinero snorting heroin off a hooker's ass. Why not? But so, but I took the other road and I decided, you know, hey, this one, this one's kind of cool. <laughs> so, well, it could, I could have. Uh, life has been very strange to me. I'm telling you. So, ended up here in the time that I'm. I'm where I'm at and how the world is going, I couldn't be in a better place. And all the little complaining I do, it's more because I feel bad for the people that are complying with this crap because they have uh, guilt or fear or shame. Yeah, I, I don't feel bad for those people. I, I am disgusted by them. Yeah. Uh, they're going along and that 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 drags everybody else into the well, look, the majority of the people are doing it. What's wrong with you? Um, yeah, I know. I'm a dumbass. I'm a guest <laughs> in a foreign country, Grim. What, what can I really do about it? Nothing. If, well, yeah, you're, if still I, a, you're still a human. You're a human, right? And my my thing is I don't participate in however. And they want to enforce that. Nah, I ain't doing it that way. <laughs> yeah. At the very least, because I want my tobacco. And I'm not going to not go to get cigarettes for surf because, oh, I got to wear a mask. Go do it yourself. You know, because I've always liked my walk to the store. Say hi to the guys that are drinking and shit. <laughs> I call them the town council, pal. When they're out there drinking, I know everything is cool. And when when there's days when they're not there, I worry. I go, holy fuck, I wonder what's going on. <laughs> The council the day after. Yeah, and some of them, you know, they have family uh, family things or 
Some of them will be gone for a week or two at a time. But when they get back, I'm aware. See, I've been here for all these years. So now certain things are like a routine. I go down yeah. to the train and if certain people aren't there. I go, hey, wait a minute. Something must be wrong. <laughs> Ange, where's my bullet? Ange, <laughs> <Hey>, my bullet. <laughs> anyway, so because I live in Mayberry, Denmark. All right. Well, uh, see in the chat here, Beth, Beth is jokingly saying, "Step right up to get your vaccine so you can shop for food." I don't know if she's jokingly saying or not, but that's the way it's kind of being taken there. That may become a reality. Uh, that you have to show your COVID pass in order to get into the grocery store. This place where I live is not developed enough to follow that particular doctrine. They'd get a lot of resistance. There's already, see, there's already people in Denmark that see through the shit, know better, and do stuff like for the kids. If they're under a certain age, they're, you're not masking these kids. See, you got to wait until they're old enough to tell you to take the mask and stuff it up your ass, which is what they do. And then there's the the teenagers that want to be cool and, uh, you know, they're it's weird, man. I'm just telling you, from being a yeah, teenager, like a fan. Yeah, I'm from my days as a teenager looking at these kids, seeing what they're doing is yeah, like a fad. I didn't think of that, Rob. Yeah. Like something they're doing and it's going to pass, it just ain't passed yet. Yeah, it's a fad. They're going to get sick to fucking death of it. They just don't know. But yeah. the illnesses that they're going to contract as a result of wearing these fucking masks at this time of year are probably going to be worse than if they hadn't. Yeah. So and the results, the results have yet to begun to come in. Okay, and that's why I think people know, because when they come down to the age limit, it was like 12. Under 12, no mask. Because uh, my uh, Cirque's buddy has a kid that that old, and she was mocking everybody about it. I don't have to wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> so when you go into a thing like that, you got to think, wait, if this kid already knows it's ridiculous, just like uh, I told you guys about the nephew bringing to me, the, the United States never went to the moon. It's a bunch of crap. <laughs> when he was like 11, five, five, six years ago. So I think that the the, um, the way they teach these kids is different than what I'm used to seeing in the English-speaking countries I have lived in. Well, okay. I, think the, I think the mask age here minimum is two. Oh, that Jeez. is fucked up. Yeah. Uh, I can't even imagine uh, trying to get a two-year-old to wear a freaking paper thing on his face. Constantly crying. That'd be sickening. Wow. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. It's, it's abuse. But, you know what I do want to I want to make the best of whatever does come from this. And out of the two choices, I see Biden as the closing door to the, to the people that believe in all this global shit. Because there's enough of yeah. us that don't, you know? Or, yeah. like, okay, well, we're being circa physically located. We're so far away from uh, the main population. It's just, wow, it's like being in, in the middle of nowhere because there's water behind us. <laughs> there's nowhere to go. <laughs> So, yeah, so, but then she's only, what, 40, what, I guess 40 miles or so from Copenhagen. So now Cirque, whenever she gets, you know, that drama bone gets rubbed, she wants to go excite, get some excitement, get her mask on, and go jump on the train, and go to Copenhagen. Wish she was home. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how the world spins, huh? Yeah. Is there any place in the world you two guys would want to be than where you are at the moment? Seriously. I'm good. I'm I'm good where I am. I uh a little little uh, of town, middle, of, middle of, you know. I can say the middle of nowhere, but not really since I'm right on I forty. But uh <laughs> um 
No, I, I, I like it here. There's, you know, there's, there's no traffic, no crowds, no um, crime. <laughs> none of, none of, well, none of the crap that you're going to get in the city, you know. Right. Yeah, that's what it comes down. So I'm fine out here as long that's as the population there. Yeah, as long as they stay away. Um, but what, but when you get people like the uh, the governor that uh, passes these all-encompassing rules, not laws, by any stretch of the imagination, you know, orders or whatever they call them, um, that that affects the whole state, regardless of the fact that there's no reason to affect anything outside of the cities over, say, 100,000 or so. Uh, hmm. 100,000 population. And what's yours? 1,800. Wow, that is tight, because uh, the, yeah, the local here is 10,000. But I, it covers a little bit of land. Yeah. But, fuck. 10,000 would be for the whole county here. Oh, okay. All right, right, right. right. That's, it's a huge county. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you're talking, I think, what did I, I looked on the uh, demographic thing or whatever, and it said, like, two people per square mile or something. Yeah, but you're in no man's land, New Mexico. Yeah. There's yeah. still a lot of that Arizona, like where Woody's at. Nobody wants to live out there. Well, the mice do. Well, and the boars. <laughs> yeah. I know we read all about the mice war, <laughs> the great <laughs> mouse war of 2020. <laughs> Dear diary. Ah, <laughs> oh, hell, it's funny as fuck. What can you do? So, how about you? Are you good? Because I've heard you complain, Rob. Are you good where you are? Um, not a hundred percent, but there's no place better. So, hmm. I mean, I don't know if I had something to do or some something that would to draw me somewhere, I wouldn't have a problem going. Right, but the world is presently on basic lockdown. You can't travel anywhere yeah. without some kind of confinement before you enter. Exactly. The new dirt from the old dirt. Right. Yeah. Boy, hey, Granny. Not, not the confinement, it's the poking and prodding and take this shot and take that shot. Mm. Well, I, if, you're, if you travel here to New Mexico from wherever you're at, mm -hmm. outside of New Mexico, there is a two-week mandatory quarantine. So if you're going to come here for the weekend, you're going to be here for at least three weekends. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Wait, yeah, and effectively, it's a travel ban. Pretty much. That's the way I look at it. Wow, because, you know, I used to beat their game by buying a round-trip ticket. It is crazy. <laughs> Depending yeah. on, yeah, if I wanted to return from or from a foreign country, but I didn't know how long I wanted to stay there, i just buy the round-trip ticket up front so that yeah. they, I'd at least have six months. Yeah, you can buy open-ended tickets, can't you? Not anymore. Really? Well, look at all the damage that this COVID fucking thing's done. Shut down airlines. It's shut down. Well, but uh, even before, the, when, remember when gas was minus thirty-five dollars a barrel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yet they. Grim, did they not recover from that? <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a very short period thing. I think it was it was a little bit of manipulation going on there in order for certain people that were behind that uh, to make massive profits off of it. And you can bet some people made many billions of dollars off of uh, when the, the gas futures uh, dropped that low. Mm -hmm. Well, as... as as a, you used to play the stock market, right? Yeah. And so you have a up to today, you know how to do it kind of mentality about it. Uh, to, to a degree, I, I just know it's there's nothing honest about the stock market. Uh, there, there's the, the stock prices are not based on the actual value of a company anymore. It's all based on emotions and it's all speculation. Yeah, yeah, and 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 all that is being controlled. Uh, 
So, I mean, yeah. as, as a normal person, a retail investor, if you were to go and buy, um, uh, it, it's shooting craps, man. That, 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 that's all you're doing there. Uh, and good luck on that. I've, I've seen people lose their ass on craps, so. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, but see, all these institutions, they've all been glamorized to, to the population over lifetimes. Mm-hmm. So to wake up, get, are we going two hours or? Um, I, I, what? Okay, now I'm confused. What time did we come on? I uh, fuck. I got lost. I it's it's up to you right guys. Now, right now is the end of the hour. It's up to you two. I don't care. Yeah, whatever. Ah, cool. Because you know I gave up on. I couldn't sit and just bitch about shit by myself on the radio alone anymore. <laughs> I couldn't do that in an empty room. Yeah, well, I can do that when nobody's <laughs> listening. I just don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to listen into your ranting. <laughs> well, well, not 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 really. It's just more comfortable to do this uh, when there's other people to talk to. Yeah, it's, it's nice to have a sounding board. And then there's those rare times where I I do have a point I want to make, but it's not every day, every week. Yeah. Sorry. Just hits me when it hits me. But. Yeah, uh, man, there's so much. Okay, but there's so much going on in the world, and at the same time, there is nothing going on in the world. It's all in my mind, uh, according to how I want to interpret the shit I read on the news, and how deeply I want to let somebody else wearing a mask on the train bother me. Yeah, because really, none of my business what other people fucking do. Oh, you don't agree or you don't care? Uh, I don't know. Well, okay, think about it. If, if they want to wear these shields and masks to keep their jobs, whatever the reason is, is that really any of my business to uh, judge that and make a big deal out of it? Or just, I got my opinion, it's mine, I don't got to tell them anything. But if they try to put a mask on me, hey, now it's my business. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's how I felt about going into the store that. to go get smokes. But I'm the one that wants to go to the... It wasn't like anybody's forcing me to do it. You know, it's not like a necessity. But for this vice that I got, I was willing to put the um, scarf around my face. And me and the clerk are both laughing the fucking up because we, we both know. So it took the shame, I guess, whatever. The, I felt like a, a like I'm giving in. But between me and the store clerk, we both know. I want what I want. He doesn't want to get fined. We're playing a little charade. Grown men acting like children. You know, so we can do some commerce in a, in a free country. <laughs> yeah. Well, it kind of pisses me off because all I got to do is just not go in there and not buy anything. Where's the choice part? <laughs> yeah. Kiss my ass or go without. Whoa. And here I am with my fucking ball begging for more like a slave. <laughs> and uh-huh. I know there isn't anybody else in the freaking world that thinks that about me. Or cares when this is happening. Except me. I'm back. Hey, cool. But I hey. wonder I wonder what goes through the individual mind of the person. Are they just like me? They're going, fuck, man. I hope people don't see the shit. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Never mind. I guess that did not translate to Mr. Rob. No. I, I tried. <laughs> Well, this, uh, this social shit's confusing. Yeah. I have never in my life had I ever expected to be around a public that wanted me to cover my face when I went to do commerce. I find it weird. I find it weird in a way that's beyond words. It's just, I think weird is the best way to put it. Yeah. 
Well, by now, yeah, I don't know how they got everybody to buy into the, this mask crap as if masks work. I don't know what they bought. I don't know. They didn't. They just mandated it. And the people don't, aren't buying into the mask thing. They're buying it. It's just like people that put their seatbelt on. Yeah. Yeah. Compliance. You know, don't wear your seatbelt anymore. Well, I always wore mine when from the first time I drove, which when I was 16 back in 1976. <laughs> so, okay, well. I, wow. I, I didn't need it. You're, you're safety conscious then. Well, but there's, well, an actual, there's an actual argument to be made that uh, seat belts are good. Um, there's also an argument to be made that seat belts kill people. Um, but then the same arguments can be are made about the masks. It's the same mentality. The reason people... Everyone wears a seatbelt is because they made it a fucking law. Yep. You wear seatbelts, Graham, because you want to. And that's right. perfectly fine. You do whatever you want. But they made it to where everybody has to wear a seatbelt all the time. Even if you're just jumping in the car, going down a 25-mile-an-hour street to the end of the block to the store, if a cop sees you without your fucking seatbelt, Okay. Then uh, you're gonna you're gonna owe them money, right. which no, is just I, it's a whole I, revenue thing. I'm I'm all for people doing whatever they want as long as they're not harming anybody else or anybody else's property, and I'm all against any of these ridiculous rules they call laws, which are not yeah. laws actually they're codes. But yeah. uh, we're not going down that road here today. Yeah, that's a whole nother. <laughs> you think? Well, uh, my hardcore yeah. 40 at the door table understand what we speak about here. That's why they keep yeah. coming back, yeah. So, well, it may not be popular, but you're, you're going to find people that agree with you here and there. Oh, yeah. But not, you're There's never, you're never going to be the, uh, in the group, the biggest group. You're always going to be in this, with these kind of, Belief systems were always going to be in the minority, <laughs> you know. Because try explaining to them. Well, all right. Here, here's a good one. Rob will love this one. Rob, you're you're from a religious background, right? Basically, yeah. Okay, I so you way. you understand. All right, so you understand forced structure, and then mm -hmm. you understand how hard it is to break away from your bloodline to think for yourself, and it's all based on faith <laughs> mm -hmm. hello people knock knock good book tells me it's the see the answer is in the in the, the explanation it's all faith-based you either you believe it it is real or you don't and it's not real there you go what is so hard oh. okay but here we are 2020 rob and people don't have just the common sense that it would take to Let's go with where is your fact? Because we're not taught to have a, a concern about fact. We're taught to have a faith in the storyteller. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I could yeah. be a Baptist minister and make us dough on RLM Radio. <laughs> All I got to do is just find Jesus in my pocket. I know he's hiding in here somewhere, but uh, no, really, people pay big money to be told what they want to hear. Yep, somebody said that. It's, it's universal, for fuck's sake. Look around you. All this yeah. political, uh, whenever you donate to a political thing, how is that any different than giving money to a church or a charity? Yeah. The whole fucking thing is like, wait a minute. Huh. And all uh, taxes. Well, I've never, I've never, uh, I never donated to a church, but I did donate to Ron Paul back in the day. Yeah, but when when did you realize that they the two big parties just shove everybody else beneath them out so they can't compete? Well, he was in part. Of, he was he was running a Republican. So. Oh, oh, he wasn't an independent. At the 
No, no, no. He was running. Or what was a libertarian? Am I right? Did he end up as that? Okay, so he was a Republican because he was in Congress. The first time he ran in 1988, he ran as either a Libertarian or I think he ran the Libertarian Party. It was Libertarian. Wow. Yeah, and then in 2008, he ran uh, Republican. Grim is a voter. Neener, neener, neener. <laughs> well, you know what? That was it. That was did, the you vote or did, you, did you just donate? Uh, no, I voted in the primary. Uh, oh, okay. And then, of course, they destroyed them uh, after after the primary. There, you know, the beginning of that. Yeah. And, well, and, he rolled over and let them take it. <laughs> yeah. And he, won, he, won the primary, he won the primary. He just rolled over and let them take it away from him. Yeah. Or I, he would have. Uh, yeah. Uh, went down to the the city building there, whatever you call it, mm. and uh, and and. And, and registered as, as the Republican there in order to be able to vote in the primary. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. Gets complicated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, have to, you have to be registered within the, that party here in this state. And now you can just mail something to any state you want to and vote, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe Biden. <laughs> you could vote. You You don't even have to be born on Earth to vote. You you can even be from another planet and they'll let you vote. You don't even have to be a real, <laughs> a real, a real living being to vote. And, you know, you're you're a coder, so you might have a good uh, explanation for, is it really possible with the technology that they have to, to do the things that they claim they do? What? Uh, you know, you write the code for computers, right? To yeah. run it, okay. I don't. I just see the results of what you do. And as I've gotten more attached to the internet, I'm finding out that there's more and more shit that can be done. But do they just exaggerate, or is there really ways to write codes to make computers do the shit they tell us that they can do? Well, you could make it pretty much do whatever you want, but, I mean, give me an example. All right, like the AI thing, right? I saw this robot link where the robot's talking, and uh, they're claiming it, that it, it's capable of personal interaction and thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm watching it on a computer, so I don't know. Am I just being shown some trick that a guy can do with computers? Or... No, they, they can make it... They, you can absolutely be fooled by a good AI uh, <laughs> okay. to, to make you believe that it's human, that you're actually inter interacting with a human. Right, but there is there any real point where there's no human interaction to bring it to me? Where it's all done by the computers itself. They just decide to do these things. Oh, well, they'll, they'll, they're getting there. They're not, I, I don't think they're actually quite there yet, but... Uh, as as the AIs were, I mean, just just look at look at smartass there in the channel. It's, a, it's not a good AI at all, but it is a it's a learning piece of code. Oh yeah yeah yeah, it is improving. I've seen it do some yeah, but yeah, I've no I've been patient with it because I I've had a, had a kid learn to walk. <laughs> That's painful. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean. Um, and uh, now deep fakes. You familiar with those? Mm. The deep fake. Tell us about it. Deep Wait, fake. Uh, are, oh, they deep fake. No, no, no. I take I'm your not. image and put it onto uh, computer generated and. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. So yeah, I've heard of, I've heard of the deep fake the the and the the voice. Uh oh. Yeah. What's going on? Okay. I. 
<laughs> you have a, a little difficulties? <laughs> yeah. Um, he's dropping in and out. Oh. Okay, yeah, but I fixed it without rebooting anything. So, so yeah, they can uh, they can make it that. appear like anybody's saying anything or doing anything they want. Uh oh, no, I didn't fix it. Uh oh, no. no. Oh, uh, your system's having a problem. Why don't we just call a show? Uh oh. Yeah. It's that trouble. All right. I'll send you stuff. There he is. Yeah, I know, but I can't stay connected, so I'm going to shut it up. You have to just edit the end or something, Grim. <laughs> 